Hello and welcome to the Girl to Woman podcast. I'm Lillian. And I'm Benita. And we have another exciting episode yes. for you. Of yes, course, yes, on this yes. podcast, <laughs> we gather to have honest conversations mm-hmm. about our feminine journey, mm-hmm. including our health, our mm-hmm. wealth, our well-being. Mm-hmm. And today, we're going to be talking about our health and yes. our well-being. Yeah. And we have an amazing, renowned fitness instructor with us to do that. Yes. Thank you for coming on the show, Sandra. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for Thank having you. having me. Thank Sandra. you for coming. We're going to be talking about body confidence and mm. body positivity. So mm-hmm. being confident as any body, size. Yeah. So as women, I think that's something that, you know, we all, we all talk about and we all try and struggle with with as well (laughs) so as a fitness instructor i was gonna ask you how did you get into fitness um what what motivated you to get into fitness i always say that my being a a fitness instructor Mm -hmm. and taking it as a career was by accident strictly Mm -hmm. Because this was me being overweight. I'm not gonna say how (laughs) how I weighed that (laughs) I was overweight trust me three digits but I won't say more And and the randomly said there was a dance place where you could just dance and lose weight. And I stalled for a bit because my friends wanted to come. But when they were not coming for it, I just went. And then I fell in love. Mm. Why I fell in love was the instructor was huge. Mm, she was huge. tall. She was huge. And I was like, hmm, <laughs> this is the instructor. But when she moved her mass, mm. oh, it was wow. like feather wheat. Mm. I kid you not. And then right there, she inspired me. I'm like, okay, she's this big and and she moves herself like exactly. So that was where I got the motivation. And I just started her class Monday to Saturday. Mm. I'm always there. Mm. And then I lost all that weight right in front of everybody. I was addicted to Zumba. It was like a Zumba class, Zumba dance fitness. I got that was where I got myself for the first time. You know how in Nigeria. Ladies usually will lose the weight. I was on that train as well before mm-hmm. this happened to me. Mm-hmm. I can go to the gym, kill myself for three months and get my perfect size 12. <laughs> yes. mm-hmm. and, then and then go back. <laughs> I don't remember the meaning of gym or yeah, the road because to you're the now, gym. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. You're now exactly. Good. And then mm. when the things start getting tired and someone like, it's like you're starting to add weight, mm. you start that full cycle again. Yeah. Yeah. Just like imagine that for forth. years. So wow. when I discovered, so it's very important to discover what you love, what interests you. For me, yeah. it was that Zumba dance. Even when I lost the weight, I still wanted to go to the class because mm. it just made me feel some type of way like yeah. that I've never felt before. With my perfect size 12 as at that time, mm-hmm. I still go to kept the class. Going, yeah. I kept going. So that way I was able to keep the weight off for good. Mm. And then I was going to come to Lagos because marriage and everything. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay. The lady was like, maybe you should become a fitness yeah. instructor and all that. Mm. You can use my you can use my uh, certification to be doing the class. I'm like, okay. And then after a while, I came to Lagos. It wasn't wasn't big. The fitness yeah. wasn't big at all. In Lagos, I trust yeah. me. I especially in this like if it's one, you could be jogging. I would jog. Hello, hi. <clears throat> I I run a dance um fitness thing somewhere. <laughs> just give me your number oh, wow. and just come. It's free for now. Just come oh, and wow. see what it's like. You'd be like, what's that? Like I literally will stalk anybody I find <laughs> doing any form of exercise um, any nice. form of exercise uh, yeah. outside. Mm. And when it's like the class is six, by five o'clock, I'm calling the hello, hi, I know you don't remember me, but I was the one that, I say, you know, the class is going to start in one hour. Wow. I could probably call 50 numbers in wow. that space of time. Yeah. And they started to show up okay. just j- gradually. Yeah. And they started to know what Zumba was all about. Because yeah. they didn't, they thought I was always like that. Yeah. But most of them didn't believe, except I, some people knew me. Okay. from my life before. So I will not mention that life before. Before you people will not say, oh, no, they knew me from my life before in one place in television. So they knew I was big. Wow. Yeah, okay. So they could relate. Yeah. And the class started, the ladies started losing weight and oh. the class started getting moments. So mm. people started. And I gave it to my first child. While I was pregnant, I walked her throughout. Wow. I gave it to my first child and... I just started the Zumba class. And then because you have so many baby fat, yes. so many mm. pregnancy hormones, so you need yeah. to get all that out, out. before you can actually, actually get your get body. Your so I just did all sorts of cardio. I ran on the bridge. Anything that would just make me to drop all the baby weight. And I just realized one day I was taking a class. I'm like, why is my hand flapping? Mm. Why am I feeling my skin? Moving. Something is wrong. I was, I've lost weight. Yeah. Don't mm. forget. But I felt my skin okay. was so moving. It wasn't so, meaning that I need to turn up. Mm-hmm. That's how I got into lifting. Oh, 
Mm. Yeah, you see that transition. transition. Wow. I never so started Zumba with lifting. Yes, to to lifting because lift. you're, you're responding to your body. Yes, you're responding to, that's exactly. exactly what you said. And you need bodies. to know what your body yes. is. It's not just about running. Mm. Or yeah. What mm. do you want? Mm. What are your goals? Yes, mm-hmm. yes. That, so and then I got into lifting, and uh, that was like the best decision I ever mm. made. Wow. Because lifting is for women is everything they have to understand that. that like why is it that women are so scared of lifting what like what is yes. the issue they have i'm hearing lifting and i'm just like that they have this me. myth <laughs> behind it mm-hmm. that it makes them muscular where they got that from for the life of me i have no idea because <laughs> i think maybe we when we see women that lift they're like power lifters yes. so they're on tv and yeah, they're exactly. very or we also think that they have muscles yeah. or something yeah but like that. what is wrong in having a muscle because i must i have muscle it doesn't make me to, yeah, to be so. a man i'm see a full-blown Woman. woman. So what are the benefits for women then? Or like lifting. that we should know that lifting, what are the benefits? Lifting, what lifting does to you, it just, it brings your body together. Mm. Muscle. Okay. So I always say muscle up. That's what I tell my ladies. You need to muscle up. Muscle up. Because when you're slim, your body, yeah, you're slim, but this is how you are. It's kind of a, like your body, your skin, your everything is sleeping. Yes. But when you lift, you don't have to lift heavy. Mm-hmm, you can do true. what you can and you will get the tone. Yeah, you you want, if you don't want the definitions, okay. like, yeah. you know, like me, you can get the tone. Yeah. Yeah. Lifting will give you that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they don't have to be afraid of it. Yeah, so okay. And then lifting, people think lifting is just for tuning up, mm-hmm. you actually lose weight. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of calories. You actually yeah. lose weight. And let me bust you here. You see how when you, when you lift, a lot of people do not want to lift because when they step on the scale, they think that they, they, they feel that they are heavier. Yes, of course you'll be heavy yes, because happens. you have turned your fat into muscle. Oh. Muscles oh, are not the light. Same yeah. And you're discouraged. Yeah, That's so true. you're not like, but not when you check out your body, Mm-hmm. If you weigh 80 kg, you will look like you weigh 70 kg, 60 yes. kg. That's how you look. Because oh, the muscle okay. kind of comes to you. Together. Like it tones mm-hmm. you nicely. Mm. So you don't look how you weigh. Mm. Yeah. So, but they are so obsessed with the scale. Yeah. I, keep telling yeah. people, I don't remember the last time I was on the scale. Maybe I, I went to the clinic or something. Mm-hmm. I don't even have a scale because I have no need for it. Yeah. I, I th- keep telling ladies, get rid of the scale. Yeah. The scale is not the definition of who you are. But you know, for some people, the scale really just helps them to know what they are weighing so that yeah. that's what really motivates some other but, people to actually yeah. now, you know, think of, you know, getting into physical Yeah, I don't mind. Like, before you start that. your journey, mm-hmm. yes. you step on the scale, mm-hmm. that's fine. Mm-hmm. But when I have people that wake up in the morning mm-hmm. and the scale is right in the, in the, in the, <laughs> the, the, the bathroom, they, they just go there and step on it. That. Exactly. Yes. Yes. I think yes. it's yes. actually, yes. it's good to have the scale. It's good to know that, like, where you are, but mm-hmm. don't define your fitness journey oh, no, by it. And don't be obsessed with it. Yeah, no, a lot, of, a lot of women, we love the scale. If I just lose one kg, like, you're looking the same yeah. pretty much, but you just that weight loss of yeah, one that weight. Yeah, it's like an encouraging man in the beginning. Yeah. After a while, you become yeah. a slave to this to scale. Yes. I think a better measure is like inches, like yes. measuring your body. I always tell people something like, Sandra, I'm not hands. losing weight. I said, you're not losing weight. Check your but inches. But how are your clothes? He said, yeah. they are loose. I said, then you're losing in inches. In inches. Mm. So you're turning your muscles to too fat, fat gradually. Mm. Mm. So that's yeah. what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> and then people time. just want, I'm so happy now that we're not all about being skinny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like I think it's beautiful. Like because so, it I used to be love, a love. Like that in the last one year, I love the fact that women are not rushing to, to like, be. Skinny. I want to lose weight. Losing weight is not what they are after at the moment, mm-hmm. and I oh, really love good. that. But like, I just I want to be fit. I want to be fit. That's that's so yeah. for me, I've always preached fit and strong, yeah. healthy. That actually, that's what I was gonna say. Like, is there a difference between being skinny and being healthy? Are they two different things? They're different being because slim, there are some healthy. very skinny people that are not healthy. Mm. They are not even fit. Wow. Mm. They are just even some people is like. DNA, their DNA came. They they're like that. No matter oh, okay, what they do, no they're fit. not. They're, well, do you understand? But they cannot even just go down a fleet of stairs. Just oh, one fleet of stairs. And then there's that well, party. <laughs> they want to die. Like, <laughs> but you're slim. And then you 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 run a marathon. You're like, you're you know, like, why? What's wrong with her? So what makes a a fit person? What makes you fit? Oh, yeah. It's just a regular exercise. A regular activity. That's it. Mm-hmm. So if you're the type that like dance, you might go for a dance class. If you're mm-hmm. like the type that like to do proper exercise, mm-hmm. go for heat. Or if you don't even want to be part of that community, you just do your thing, go for a jog. Like make a date with yourself. That's what mm-hmm. I always said. I say, mm-hmm. have a date, a date with yourself. yourself. This yeah. is my date. My time. If even if you don't date. want to, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Even if you don't want to jog, you can walk. You can walk yeah. for like two, three hours. I know a couple of people that just simple walking, mm-hmm. they've lost all their weight mm. with controlled eating. Controlled eating. Yeah. yeah. Controlled eating. yeah. 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 
So yeah, I, I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, fitness, I wanted to. Fitness is self care, pretty much. Yeah, it is self care. <laughs> you had to say that. Uh-huh. This self care yes. life. Yes. 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 It is because she said that. Well, I, I I completely agree with her. I wanted to ask, what is the perfect size now? Because a lot of people are really all about, oh, I'm a size eight, and then size eight feels like they are better than a size fourteen, and then a size fourteen feels like ah, if only I can be a size twelve. You know, especially because of the clothes. Because of is the clothes. Is there a perfect size? That's right. So what, is there a perfect size? No, or what is the perfect no. Size? That's it's an just what question. you have. There's no perfect. Ah, says because mm. look at this mm. none of them is perfect they're not mm. together so okay. everyone has so that's how we are in life mm. there's no perfect size it's just that some people they can't get over how they their size when they were 18 years old or when they yeah. were 22 yeah. so they are stuck in that size I'm like especially once you have a child change <laughs> let it go but some people are lucky they have DNA working for them yeah mm-hmm. that's I must DNA. put that into mm-hmm. consideration yes, there's some, some people, people that never change when you you seen them like 20 years ago that is their DNA working for them mm-hmm. so they just have to do a little just to so there's nothing like a perfect there's size there's no perfect size because mm-hmm. we're, we're all beautiful in mm-hmm. our different sizes because yeah. wow. I've seen uh, there's some thick women that they yeah. don't want to lose weight yeah. See, Sandra, I like some people, some men even like their weight. wives chubby than yes. yeah. slim. Yeah. I remember when I was losing weight, this person I was with that time was yeah. like, hmm, I don't understand what's all this. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> Nobody, I, I said, you have to stop. I said, I cannot stop. He said, then we cannot go for wow. that. I said, yes, please be going. Because I'm at my happiest. Yes, yeah. He said, nobody will marry you. I said, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Like he literally told me nobody wow. will marry me. I said, because I'd rather uh, be happy. Yes. And exactly. in this state, than be unhappy and be married. Yeah. Mm. That's actually interesting. Mm. Like, so like you have to do it for you. That's, yes, that's, that's just the word. You that's have the to word. do it. Because I can't someone like want to control what I look how like or look, how I feel. How you look like and feel. No, yeah, so no. it all it's all about you. So when people start jumping from one place, oh, it's mapia tea that's raining. Mm. Oh, it's coloco tea that's raining. Mm. Oh, it's bitter tea that's they're just yeah. jumping from look for something that you like works if for salsa you. is what you like, have a date with salsa Sweet. every week. If it's two, two times a week, three times a week, just focus. Yeah. In six months, look at from the first day you started mm. and that six months that you yeah. see the difference. Yeah, what I'm learning is just the importance of consistency. You're very right this about we reach a goal and yeah, then we just move on. You ha- if you're going to be fit, and I think that's what fitness is, because even as a fitness instructor, I'm sure there are times where you feel like you don't feel very fit if you take time off. Oh, so yeah. fitness is not like yeah, a yeah. one-off thing. Yeah, mm. You just do it no, once. No, and no, no, it's no. consistency. It's, it's lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. That's guys, it's lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. So in essence, you owe yourself the responsibility of being fit yes. and feeling fit. Yes. yes. Feel, oh, like yes. Being feeling fit. I like that. Being fit. The difference between being and, mm-hmm. and yeah. feeling fit. And that's the confidence Obviously. we're talking that's, about. See, you see, when when I see, like, some ladies, they come into my class, at first, you see them wearing, like, a baggy shirt. Mm-hmm. They're trying to cover all their flaws. Yeah. And everything. I just look at them. And then maybe a couple of months later, yeah, they're wearing like like a, like a tank top. Then they're just and trying to like, that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you have lost feeling it. Yeah. Now, now you're feeling, feeling it. Yes. You have a, now the body confidence is yes. coming in. So mm-hmm. and I tell people that in fitness, it's not how you look when you wear clothes. Mm. It's how you look without the clothes. Mm. Because nobody is there. It's just you. It's just mm. you. That's what Do you really like what you see? see. Yes. That you carry on. If you don't like what you see, you work do it. something about it. In. It's not we can hide. There's nothing. Uh, uh, like close plenty of so yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but remove you everything How and look at the feel? mirror. How okay. do you feel? You don't like it. You, when you see some women, they're not even like hourglass or anything, Mm-mm. but you see them, they're feet yes. solid. Mm-hmm. You can't, they, if you see the way they work, they work like they're Miss Ward. Mm-hmm. That confidence, that like, they have, have arrived. Mm-hmm. I love how I look. I don't know about anybody. So that is what keeps them yeah. going. Yeah. And they don't necessarily have to be one size. Like no, I think no. everybody, yes. especially when There's it comes no to number on the scale. Yes. Everybody like you can see someone who is 60 kg and they mm-hmm. will look completely different from yes. that person yes. who is 60 yes. kg. Yes. So you define what your perfect size yes. is for your body. For you. For your don't body. say I'm, you I'm this height. Why is that person mm-hmm. I should be the same weight as that person? It doesn't work. I that tell way. the ladies walk with your body. Forget about every other person. Yes. I wasn't born with an hourglass. So yeah. why would I be saying looking for an hourglass? I was not born with it. It's not in my DNA to have an hourglass. If I like I should kill myself I would never <laughs> yeah. So that's why I keep telling people. So your body shape, mm-hmm. your body form is very different. Very different. Yeah. So I want to go to pregnant pregnant women or women at post pregnancy. Okay. Um, women before they have babies. I remember that before I had babies, I was like a ten, <laughs> and then after my first son, I went into a twelve. No, I think it. Oh, tw- well, I didn't gain so much weight, but after my daughter, I went from a twelve. So we're 14, and now we are we are just trying to balance it all back now. 
And I know that that's like a lot of <laughs> mom's good. reality because oh my God. it's like your waist is just doing, 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 dwindling. Yes, doing <laughs> consistent and all of that. You are doing everything within your power. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so dead. look like a baby girl, but that baby girl life means what? that you have to for, yes. you have to let go of everything that is precious to you, mm. like your favorite snacks and your favorite meals and all of that. So I want to know, mm. what do you do? The first, does family planning contribute to weight gain? Because a lot of people have said, well, after I started using family planning, I've gained so much, much weight. weight. And then secondly, what when if at post pregnancy, what are those things that you can do that can help you know manage you, this, manage yeah. your weight so that you don't blow up or so that you can you know feel, feel confident and look confident. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. So the first thing they have to realize that once you get pregnant, your body mm. is going to undergo Expand. a mm. a beautiful metamorphosis of Batting a child. Mm. That's what I call it. Mm. So all that pregnancy hormones, I got mm. like when I'm pregnant, I can literally uh maybe squat. I can be there for an hour because your joints they become loose. So in between mm. the joints, they're like gel. They're oh. like so mm. they like so when you see some pregnant women, like especially the ones that are active, yeah. you're like ah, with her How pregnancy, she's like, mm-hmm. it's the hormones that's making her that fluid mm-hmm. because she was doing all that before. before so oh. it's not like yeah, yeah. so it's not like she's that. Learning. So when you so a lot of pregnant women, I know they get tired. Mm-hmm. I, if I'm not working, I just want to sleep. The only thing <laughs> I have strength for is work. Once I'm done with work, when you see me in my house, I am sleeping. Mm-hmm. I don't do anything. But thankfully, I have enough strength to do my work. I yeah. will do it and then I just sleep. So mm-hmm. I can understand where they are coming from. But they have to understand that nothing is wrong with them. They are not mm-hmm. sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are just pregnant. Mm-hmm. And then the doctor said, it's okay. Do exercise. It's mm. even good for your pelvic floor. That's yeah. where the baby is going to come out from. You from, need yeah. to exercise oh, wow. because on that day, you're going to. Okay, let me tell you what you what get. it does. <laughs> like when you exercise, this is how the thing is. Like, can you see how yeah. tight it is? Mm-hmm. So when you exercise, you kind of you are you're not making. It's tight, it's but it's it's loose tight. Oh. Okay, that's the word. The it's loose tight like, so that yeah. when the baby is ready to come out, mm-hmm. see this is tight, mm-hmm. and the baby is ready to come out. It's like this. Mm. Okay. Is it... mm. Can you see the struggle yes. of trying to Come on, take it yeah. out? Mm-hmm. Take, trying to yeah. put it apart. Yes. But when you are working out, so mm-hmm. can you see it's, it? Yeah, so when the wow. baby is well, trying to come it's out, so it's that. A, can you, that can you see that? Oh, okay. So okay. you see that different? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that aside from that, working out when you're pregnant actually helps you sleep better. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it helps you sleep better. Like it helps you relax better. You might be tired. Mm. Like it's just a thirty minutes walk or a forty minutes walk. Mm. You don't have to do much. I can understand some people that the doctor they can't move. It's down there is very sensitive, Mm -hmm. so they cannot move on it. This Mm -hmm. is how they are. Mm -hmm. (laughs) For them to go to the bathroom, they have to have one, two, take a step. One, two, take a step. Mm -hmm. They can't. Mm -hmm. That's sensitive pregnancy. But when you are not, when you don't have sensitive pregnancy, pregnancy, because I'm like you went to work. Mm-hmm. But you went to you work. Went to Did work. you go to work? <laughs> Eight to five. Mm. Now you're coming. No, I cannot do. The, you know the exercise is tired. But you have you went through a fleet of stairs because <laughs> your 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 job do not even have um a, a, a elevator. 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 Mm-hmm. You went through a fleet of stairs mm-hmm. and then you are back home and you're saying you can't. You're just. Uh, I'm like, okay, you can mm-hmm. even swim. Like a lot of people do not understand that you have to do what works for you. Yes. If you swimming that works for you. Swim, just have a date or with yourself. Dancing. Very re- even dancing, dancing. even if it's Pilates, even if it's works. yoga, anything that you know you cannot be yeah. tired of. Okay. Yeah. I always tell people, it's just like when they say, What's your favorite food? You say, You've mm-hmm. been having that food all your life. life. Yes. It's still your favorite food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when you find a favorite activity, activity, it's always going to be your favorite activity. Yeah. You yeah. might get bored sometimes, yes, but you, you will always bit. return back to it. Yeah. So I always tell people, so look for what works for you. Don't jump. Don't say, yeah. oh, this mm-hmm. works for Lillian. This works yeah. for Sandra. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me just try. try. You are going to... It's a, mm-hmm. So, but, and then... When the baby comes, oh my God, you're so overwhelmed. Well, no sleep. Mm-hmm. You are around the clock. Mm-hmm. Because just when you finish taking care of the baby and you just finish eating, baby is it's time for the baby again. Mm-hmm. You yeah. have to just it's every time you finish, it's just it's overwhelming Back. for the first couple of months, especially mm-hmm. for new mothers. Mm-hmm. I totally can understand. So that's why I, I always employ ladies before you make that journey into motherhood. Have like a, a date with yourself, a, a fitness routine, routine. routine. That's yes, just, yeah, an that activity so that way you can easily go back. But if you don't have her, it will take a lot, <laughs> to start. a lot, and that's what a lot of women are a right lot. now. So, most people, what they do because I've had like three or four 
new moms. Mm-hmm. So what they do, they employ a personal trainer to come to the house. Because okay. when I come to your house, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, you just you have, have to dress up yes. and come <laughs> and we will you. work out. So yeah. like, so that's what they okay. do to jump into it. So they mm-hmm. keep the personal trainer for maybe like three months. Mm. And after that, they're losing weight gradually and all that. So now they cannot join the general population. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They cannot join oh, everybody. Exactly. So because but just family planning, do you think that yes, it does? Weight gain? Because I've seen a couple, oh. I work with so many ladies. I've seen a couple of ladies that that was what the problem was. Because the moment oh. they took it out, their yeah. life was better. Oh. Wow. Like, so I've I've done a couple of surveys of yeah. this. I'm like, okay. It's I said, I, I wouldn't know because I'm not family. I'm not on family planning. So, so, yeah, so yeah. but I've met a couple of them. And it's when the it's hormonal together, changes. It's, yeah, you have to really, so. it's, I think with family planning, it's trial and error. Like mm-hmm. you need to try and see Yeah, you works. try the one that works. works. So you, you, they they have some there that yeah. it's not going to. That doesn't to, cost weight. That doesn't yeah. cost yeah. weight. So you just need to speak to your doctor or your gynecologist about it. But it's something that can happen. So women should be aware and speak to your gynecologist to let them know your concern. So, so you get the right one. Yeah. So I, after the baby comes, mm-hmm. I usually would say, take your time because some people are like, no, I want to, I want to start the baby. Your baby is one month old. You're still breastfeeding. Mm-hmm. Why do you want to be on a diet? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I would ask, why do you want to be? I said, yeah, no, correct. I was like, why do you want to be on a diet? Mm-hmm. Guy, chill. Yeah. I don't even like when it comes like, I used to breastfeeding, said, we're well, stopping next month. I said, when you stop, when you come. stop come. I don't touch you if you are, I don't, like, I don't, a, I don't, too much I don't deal with already. babies. You see, babies are so like, give them everything. everything that so they once, need. You, once you said you are done, you are yes. done. And then you can face it squarely. Because if you're on a diet, there's some nutrients, there's some things that the baby needs from food. To, you to and then you are, you are on a diet. I am not understand why you're on a diet. <laughs> diet. Yeah. It's like you're pregnant and on a diet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How is that even mm-hmm. possible? I but see. I've actually heard some people say they are pregnant and they are on a diet. <laughs> and is that even it sounds sense. terrible, actually, because I don't you need to be the what? diet I mean, be on I, the healthy diet. Not I, like, not I, I, the, like, the balanced diet. I know that you shouldn't eat too much, mm-hmm. like, but, right? Because cause when I'm pregnant, for some reason, my children are like I they for some reason eat. that's the only time I want to eat, eat as much. Not eat out of problem because I work out. So like I'm so not You're in not fact hungry. I'm not I mean minus when it comes to this because I work out. So no matter what I eat, I, I promise you. you I will burn it. Oh. Don't watch her. She's yeah, that person so you don't I don't. Want to yeah, it's me that you don't <laughs> no, want because so you, I, you come and, you, and you, you do like one hour yeah. at the most, and then you go and what she's and eating. then you're gone. Yeah, I am doing six seven mm-hmm. hours. Seven Jonathan. hours. Jonathan, on Ooh. a tight schedule, I Fitness will do seven. Fitness trainers are not with us. They are not they are yeah. in a different <laughs> world. They are in a different so I can, world. I can do anything mm-hmm. I like. Yeah. So, so when someone's them, I'm like, no, and... A lot of people do not understand that when you start your fitness journey, it's called sacrifice. Yeah. You are only going to be sacrificed for a time. That time you're sacrificing, you're building discipline mm. and you're picking up some things. Mm. So when I tell the women, I have a group of women like, Sandra, I can't believe like, you know, I can literally just see rest. I'm like, no, I don't feel like that. Yeah. Was, that never used to happen to me. Mm. Over time. Yeah, you know, does, over yeah. time, you start picking some things. Like, yeah. Can you imagine they were just taking nice and such come and tell say, eh? Me that I've worked out today. Mm. Never. Just I'm sorry. Like Ice cream is for Normally, weekend. Yeah. It's not now. Mm. You won't know when you're doing that. Mm. It's but it's just something yeah. you have picked up we in your time. journey. Mm-hmm. It's so That's why fitness is not... You know, uh, any fitness ad that comes and says, all you have to do is drink tea. Mm. Don't work out. Run. Yeah, I was mm. actually going to ask about that. Like Run. Diets, do they work? Or at, like all these keto... Um, what are the other names there out are there? This Bishop Fisherman. I don't know. There's yes. Keto, there's, um, <laughs> yes. There's it works. It works. It works. But you see, tea. it works if you are going to do it for life. Can you do it for life? for life? Exactly. So anything that you cannot do for, for life, life okay. is not sustainable. Mm. So that's what I always tell people. Now so if you want to do, so if it's an emergency, oh yeah, knock yourself out I because you are going do. to, if you're not, if you're not disciplined enough, you are not going to keep that weight. Most people don't keep the weight. Of, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, I lost 15 kg. Okay. On this A year diet later, we see you. Back. We have you have 45. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you understand? Yeah. So the consistency, and it's just, it's literally to, my friend said, Sana, don't be saying diet. I hate it. You used to make my head do that. So I said, okay, just eat right. Eat mm. right. Controlled portions, small portions. So you have to start, like, it's not, um, it's not, Cold turkey, you have to start gradually. You're the type that cannot do without not eating at night. Yeah. So it's okay. Let's reduce what you eat at night first. By portion okay. control. Jonathan, let's reduce it. Okay. Okay. Then after that, 
okay, let's see what you can eat at night. No a bad <laughs> night. No, a no bar. rice at night. Oh. No pasta at night. <laughs> you can have a, you know, Okay, so it's soup. not cold turkey. You start with Yeah, like changes. because if you okay, don't, your, your body, have you met your body? Yeah. Just say you're on the fast. Oh, oh you'll be we, taking we, we, yes, and then your body is going to be giving your you signals. Your body will be telling you food, food, food. food everywhere Meanwhile, you, you can alone. stay a whole day not eat. You'll be yeah, like, oh my God, this is five. I'm not eating today. I just drank water. But the day you tell yourself, I'm doing this. Oh, that's your body. No, so that's how your body is. So you have so you to, have to gradual. gradually trick it. Okay. So I always say people, I never go cold turkey on anybody. I can go to cold turkey myself. I'm an instructor. But for clients, we just start with a gradual process to trick your brain, to trick your body. Okay. Do you understand? We start very good. And I don't like that, but I say, okay, so in six months, I say, I have no time limit for me. I don't put time to it. I just know that maybe the first six, after the first six months, we take a picture. And we see where we are at. Yeah. Mm. For me, it's all about picture. It's not your skin. Mm. Take that first picture, keep it. In six months' time, we're like, ah, well, we're I here. lost it too. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. Now let's go for na- the next six months. Mm-hmm. That's 12 months mm-hmm. now. You, your journey, some people, their journey, it takes two to three years. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so when I, yeah, and then they like, you have lost it. Come and tell me. I say, it's now you're asking. I've been suffering for three years. You're just asking. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. it's it's consistency. It's so, it's so any diet that you cannot do for life, it's not sustainable. Yeah. yeah. And I think even the most important thing is a calorie deficit. Because I see people on like keto and they are eating like butter, like meat. And, and, then, and yeah, you're actually say, consuming you know, like, more calories. All this calorie deficit, I didn't know for people that are educated, people that know. How many people want to be counting crayfish? You know, no, no, no. I, I, I don't pepper. get it. All those kind of things. I mean, no, reducing so, your calories. Yeah, so what just I always reducing. just say, I because sometimes when you tell people that you're, you're busting your brain, just portion control. Yes, yeah, mm. so yeah, that's exactly If the rice you normally eat, let's yeah. start with dividing it into two. And then guess what um, Dr. Aproko said? That thing, I will go with it for life. He said, you see your eba yeah. and soup. <laughs> your eba. Is the side your mm. soup is, is the, the main, main cause? Mm. <laughs> can you see that? Can we make ever like the, the main, main cause? And, uh, yeah. the and soup. So can you see that? Your your swallow at any any form of swallow <laughs> is your side. <laughs> is your side? But we are the men. soup that is, is so your true. main, so that we have all the proteins yes. and everything inside. That's a good. So change. when you treat it like that, guess what? You, you lose be weight because you your, your be portion good. for Eba or any yeah, well, because it's, it's your side. It's, it's not your be as side. much as your side. So when he said that, it just hit me. I'm like, that's so true. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. But people are the other no, way. The other way. Yes. Have you seen Eba? Yeah, I've seen Eba like this. this stuff. <laughs> and then you not see soup like it's this. like a whole ball. It's like a whole football. <laughs> it's so funny. Yes, yes. So like, so people control. need to be treating that, treating it like that. Yeah. So especially your heavy carbohydrate diet, mm. likes of yam, likes of rice, they should always come in small portions. In small portions. So it's really about portion control. Yes. It must be in a calorie deficit. Yes. Yeah. Portion control. Yes. So, so for me, so, I just always say portion control. Just so you cannot eat excuse too. bad eating. Yes. No, just because you, you do exercises for even 14 no, no, hours. No, no, yeah. So they go hand, yeah, hand in hand. hand. Yeah, if I don't eat, if I don't eat right. Yeah, how important I would eating? just, you see me, I look like, um... I look very thick. You mm. you still be strong. <laughs> yes, I still be strong, but I will not have. I will not look exactly how I want to look. Mm-hmm. You know, like you know when uh, I'm, I'll just be full but yeah, strong. Yeah, strong. Like just uh-huh, poof. because I'm not. Call- <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <Ooh>. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're strong, like, but you're like not you know, like, 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 a, like a massive stone. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. So is That's it 80-20 a... then? Or yeah, is so it 70-30 um, with, with so regards exercise to exercise and, exercise and, food. and food? Food is 80, baby. Yeah, Ooh. okay. Exercise is 20. Exercise is just to lift it. To lift it, you know, give it to give really? it shot. Set it right. Your food so is the main cause. Food is 80, baby. Is it, nutrition is 80. Yeah, yeah. nutrition. It's 80. Please walk us through um, on people who say they want to, who say exercises make, has made them have like big bomb or has brought out all their features yeah. and all of that. It's a bit confusing because you see younger people or even women yes. who felt like, oh, pregnancy took a lot from them. Now they're not like, okay, I want to go back into the gym so that well, I I, my features cannot be defined and all of that. And meanwhile, not ne- these people that you look at who make you feel that the reason why they have these features now you know, they went to um, the gym. Obvious is because they went to the gym. Please walk us through that. How do you deal with that? Does exercise right. actually bring out your, <laughs> your, your I have, your I have, I have three type of body. Mm. Okay, that is the follow come body. Mm. That's the body your Don't mama God gave you. Oh, God oh, wow. gave it to you. Okay. Yeah, the yeah. more the body that you were God born with. Some yeah. people are born with that mm. body. Mm-hmm. 
And then there's the builds, people like us that we build our oh, body mm, to okay. make it look the way we want we it to want look. It to okay. And then lastly, there are the ones that the doctor, the bots from the doctor. <laughs> wow. No shaming, nothing. No, you no, do no. what you like. I admire you. That's on you. It makes you feel happy. That's great. I have no qualms with you. Mm. Please do not take yeah. it out of the context. Mm -hmm. I'm just stating the three types yeah, of body. Bodies. So okay. do you yeah. understand? Mm -hmm. So for the people that come, follow come, like mm -hmm. I call them, DNA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They just all they have to do very they don't have to do it they just have to do very little little, little yeah. consistency and it will just come, come. out little mm -hmm. consistency. consistency so it's like for me now I came with this body frame like this is my body frame yeah. but mm. when I am overweight you will not see the definition mm. so all I have to do is just a little for you to see, see the shoulders popping yes. the neck the back popping the, and the definition that's it so that's what I meant by that follow come mm -hmm. and then for those that build mm -hmm. like. When you see, I'll say, Auntie Kate, over time. Yeah, Auntie Kate is one of those yeah. that she yes. got, she's built she her body. Yes. She built her body. Ooh, so yes. we always, so exactly, I will and always give you that. she has a really yeah. beautiful figure. Yeah, so she's she, a definition so of, build your body. she built her okay, body. Okay. Of course, I did a bit of yeah, building, but I have well. some follow come with me. Yeah. But she, she did, she she's built done well Jonathan. Her body, really yes. nice. And then for those that went to the doctor to buy, I do not have any problem, but just own it. Yeah. So, so that, that people are not dying trying to have your body, but, which mm -hmm. of course we know is impossible. Mm -hmm. They cannot have it. Because at, at, at first, when this whole buha has started, I said, then I said, oh, they, they squat at the gym. And then I told oh, my yeah. fellow fitness <laughs> colleagues, I'm like, Ha! Which squat are, are you team? sure <laughs> that we know the squat they are squatting? Because if it's the normal squat that they have been squatting, that we yeah, squat, yeah. do you know none of us can get up at mm. this point? We won't be able to carry our butt if it's squatting, you know that they said it. Because mm -hmm. I literally would do oh, I, on any given day over 200 squats every day. And your butt is so not like not that. <laughs> so why did my butt not, not come, come like on. this? So it's really not exercise. No, it's you can't get exercise. that body with exercise. Yes, you can't get because especially when you see some of them, they're like, no, it's a real body. I said, no. Let me tell you why it's not a real body. You see, real body will always have, no matter how excessive, no matter how an hourglass you are, mm. how coke bottle-ish you mm. are, they will always be like an like a flesh. Like mm -hmm. and it's like it natural yeah, flesh. Yeah. Yeah. But with the bot one, there's no flesh. Mm -hmm. The whole place just looks so, so defined. So yeah. flawless. Mm -hmm. But that one with the hourglass figure, mm -hmm. the follow comb, yeah. she has a bit a of excess. Do you understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just normal. But she still has her figure. Her figure. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm like, so always look out for that. You see the size. The ones mm -hmm. that are bought are so flawless. Mm. Mm. I think now we know the three types. So uh -huh. choose what you want at this point. Like yeah, if you, you choose want, what works yeah. for you. So like if, if you choose okay what works for you. Yeah. That's, that's and then we don't, we are not, we don't have, mm -hmm. we, the, just imagine the three of us right, right now. We have different body, we have types. Different different body, body types. types. So yes. we just walk your body type yeah. and the best, bring the best version of mm -hmm. you out. You'll still be pretty. We'll all be beautiful in Whatever, body whatever body you want that makes you feel confident, by mm -hmm. all means. You oh, go yeah, yeah, yeah. Body. By all um, means, yeah. by all means. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask about dietary supplements as well. Like, there's always this fad about this BCC thing, something, so many things that <laughs> you know, will like, help I've you never been, I don't what know why. You know, you, you know me, supplements? I've never been a fan of these things. You know why? I'm always thinking about, like, the long term effect consequences. Mm. It's not now. Now, when I'm in my 60s, do not be saying there are some deficit of the... Like, mm. I don't want to hear those kind of things if I can avoid it. Yeah. So I'm like, if you want to take it, that's fine, but I never preach it. So I say, Sandra, I need a drug. I say, I can't give you anything. Mm. So most of the time, I just do, like, literally natural supplements. Mm -hmm. okay. Like, so like that what? means a lot of vegetables, a lot of... A, oh, okay. I do Fine. a lot so of all that because I'm... Yeah, yes. I do yes. a lot of just to meet up. My mm. At every time, you are always going to see me with vegetables. I love vegetables in all forms. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Is for it, someone... Okay. Sorry. For someone who's watching us right now, yeah. who has gained so much weight and who's listening to us and is feeling like, oh, okay, maybe I should give it a try again. Maybe, I, maybe the person has tried before to, yeah. and gotten discouraged. That yeah. is listening to us now is like, okay, can I just give it a second shot? What advice would, do you have for her? What can she do now? What can she start do you doing start now, from? you know, to, to get the body that she would love? All right. So mm. I would say, do not go for all this abracadabra fat diet. Mm. Take it one step at a time. Take your time. Take your time. Because if you take your time, the possibility of you having a relapse mm. is very slim. Mm. Because this is your journey. You have started. Mm -hmm. It's a journey you have started that 
there's no going back. Mm. So you're going to march forward. Just take it gradually. Do what you can. Don't like, it's just like when I start um, a session with someone, say, like, when are we doing diet? I said, have you finished the exercise? <laughs> is there no when you can carry the exercise that you can carry? Mm. Do you know what yeah. diet is? Yeah. It means that they are not going there. So the, the food is not going to make you have enough energy. So mm. we need to build your energy up. So oh. with or without food, you can cope. Okay. Do you understand? Oh. So when people just come, oh, you're going to do this, I'm going to put it, I'm like, no. I need you to be solid first. Yeah. At least when I know your body is ready yes. for it, and then we'll go on the diet mm -hmm. so that your body can take the diet and the workout at the same time. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I want that person to start small mm -hmm. and to not even think about, oh, because a lot of people, they're like, ah, people are going to see me. I don't like this. And like, it's not, they, yeah, they, some idiots, <laughs> excuse my French, they <laughs> might laugh in the beginning, but guess what? In six months, they yeah, will be healing you. Yes. Results, oh my yeah. gosh, she has lost weight. Well done! Yeah. How so, did you do it? Exactly. Yeah, Don't matter us the secret. Exactly. So you no just secrets. start it's gradual. What works exercise. for you? Mm -hmm. You must do what works for you, not mm -hmm. what people... Or what works what for A it? might not, not work for B. B. There's no one formula mm -hmm. fits all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, you have to just do what works for you mm -hmm. and have it in your mind that this is a date with you. This is mm -hmm. what you have to do for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has nothing to do with whoever anyone is with else. you, yes. anyone else. This is for you. Mm -hmm. it, some people, the process is fast. Some people, Someone the process is slow. And with age, the process is even slower. Slower. Mm -hmm. oh, after so having kids, do you think even? it's a struggle to even start, to, 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 to think of starting? Like what No, there's no there? age there's that no. you cannot start. Yeah. There's no age you cannot start. It's just, just that the process will be a bit slower. slower. That's all. Just be more that's patient. Right. Yes, just, just have more patience. That, that's all. That's all. Just be patient. Just with be patient. Fitness lifestyle. The, the bonus is, is patience. Just patience. patience. Yeah. And then kick that um, yeah. um, weight, um, what do you call it, in a scale. Yeah, yeah it's it's for it some people, they just want to. No, if, I don't for mind. For some people, I think, to be honest, it can be comforting. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't say kick out the scale, but at mm. least follow it up with inches. Don't be don't obsessed. Don't be obsessed. Yeah, don't be obsessed. Check with other the scale. markers. There have to be other yeah. markers. Yeah. Like, yeah. like how you feel, yeah. for example, and like your inches. Or even your clothes. Yeah, your clothes that used to fit your size. And just even the strength, because fitness is not really about just your looks. It's also what makes you feel. Strength. You yeah. have no idea. It's feel how strong. it makes you feel. Because yeah. I was like, they're always working out. I said, would you rather you take cocaine? you're tired all the time. <laughs> I get the high. The high yeah. from people are getting from cocaine is the high yeah. I get from working, <laughs> from working out. out. So yeah. that's, it's how it makes you feel. Yeah. There's this, I've realized that when women start feeling like that, there's mm, this confidence it gets. I mm. see them. And then guess what? Even their personal life. Because I remember a couple of her was like, Whatever you're giving my wife, just keep giving her. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that she's I like it. it. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So she's become more flexible. Yeah. She's become more open. Confident she's too. exploring her body. body Do you understand? More. Because once you're not confident of your body, no matter who you are with, you, yeah. can, you just can never completely let go. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you see, when you're confident with your body, yeah. you let you go good. completely. Yeah. Like, yeah. you explore. You like, yeah, mm. I like... So I'm like Sandra, it's so it's so many benefits. It's not weight loss is a bonus. It comes, mm. it will come with it. Mm. It's not what should be. It should on. be the main yes. thing. The main thing. So would you, when it comes to like someone who is new um, into fitness and maybe just wants to start the lifestyle, what is your take on? Should we go straight to personal training or should we do group classes or should, you know what? Which is more advisable? Like, no, some people like to see other people. That's their motivation. That's the motivation they need. Some people like to see other people. Why some people? They want to do something in secret. Lose okay. some of the weight and, and then, then come and show, show up. up. And then be like, you guys, <laughs> yes, you guys show up and what continue you working. Doing? Exactly. You know, you okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a secret. I was just, I was just mm. Mm. you know. Watching so it's diet. just how they, some people, okay. and then some people are solo, like they work out on, on their, their own. own. Oh, they literally, yes. they're at home working out by themselves. Mm -hmm. they, okay. Those ones are like, those ones are the people with the highest form of discipline mm. because it takes a lot for you to wear your clothes, clothes and just and up then go to the corner yourself. of your house and just by wear. yourself yeah. and sweat it out for an hour and an mm. hour and a half. That is the discipline at its peak. Yes. Because mm. yeah. some people, they have to go to the gym. So yes. They have to go to the gym even though they're not going to yeah. do anything. Yeah. They will wear that cloth yeah. But they won't do anything. But do we even have to go to the gym? You know, it's like what you said earlier. What whatever it's activity what works for you. Yeah. You can play tennis. Yes, you can. You can, you walk, can swim. You can swim. You can it doesn't walk, have to be It doesn't have Most to be gym. Most women are very discouraged by the gym. Like once you just say gym, ah, I'm not going to the gym. Yes. But whatever activity that gets yeah, you Yeah, because some of them is because they have seen gym more like an enemy. It's not yes, an enemy. For yes. some people, 
that's <laughs> more like you're going to meet people that's going to look like you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going to, you know, you're going to be encouraged by some people. Forget about the skinny ones, those mm-hmm. people showing up. Mm-hmm. But there are actually some people there well, that, that they are there, they are yeah. actually working out. You can see they started this their journey. Mm-hmm. So for me, gym is an eye opener. It's, if you haven't tried it, don't just completely rule it out. Yeah. Oh. At least try it. Try it. So okay. when you try it, you then don't you know if you feel want. up to it. Try and then another. sometimes you have to check because the gym in the morning and gym in the evening is different. There's even yeah. gym in the afternoon. Some people go to the gym at 11. Yeah, peace mm-hmm. and when quiet. When the gym is... Peace and quiet. It's in quiet. The yeah. So they just go there, do their thing, mm-hmm. and they move. So if you don't want the crowd, there's a downtime at the gym, which mm-hmm. is usually when the sun sets mm-hmm. between 11 and like 3. Mm. That's what, the downtime. I wanted to know, what foods do you know are notorious for one have, adding weight? Because I've seen people say, oh, when it comes to rice, rice is like a major meal that is making people add weight. And so some people cut down white rice and they start taking brown rice instead. <laughs> so and like, they take the same amount of calories in brown say, rice. Well, I don't even yeah, know. Even more, like, yeah. well, I've heard people say, oh, and then for my swallow, I only take amala because amala is a lighter swallow. Hey. But that's the other, the it's so, so funny. Hey. Like, hey. Because the difference in calories, it's not, if it's this is much. white rice... And this, this brown is brown rice. rice Sometimes right even more. Jonathan, so this is brown rice. Yeah. Jonathan, they, they are right in that the same. same yeah. they be, what are they called? Rice. They belong to the same category. Wow. Jonathan, yeah. it's just like, see, look, you bought a fair, but mm-hmm. you have different different shade of Stone, like yeah. tones. Yes. Tone, yeah. Tones, Jonathan. Yeah. But you are still on, fair. they will yeah. tell you, they will say, they will call you people fair, fair. ladies. Mm-hmm. That's how rice is. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's how rice is. Yeah. So when it, there's no food for me, when people yeah. say there's no food you cannot eat, mm. all you have to do is eat it at the right time and in controlled portions. portions. At the right time. Because you can't be having eba to go to bed. Mm. You're about to go to bed now. Yeah. Ah, you can eat, but don't eat eba. You can eba. eat, but don't eat eba. Just yes, like 7 p.m. time and people give themselves that after 7, I'm not, I'm not having eating anything. Yeah, for some people, it's I, their well, own way sometimes. of discipline. Because it's, even, no, it's, it's, good. See, it's their own way of discipline. Because yourself. if they don't put themselves They'll on that timer, they will, they will just <laughs> eat, eat eba at 10 any, o'clock. Like, some people wake up at 1 a.m. and make eba. Oh, I kid you not. And then the, as little as Indomie that seem little. harmless. Indomie is I the just biggest look at that. It's smile. not little. And then you know how people say, because <laughs> I, I, I I remember a lady, a, a, a friend of mine, and she was like, I've not eaten all day. And then I sat down in her car and opened her, that glob compartment or the yeah, thing by the, the glob, stereo yeah. there. Yes. I opened it. What did I see? He said, no, it's just three. It's just this what I've just eaten. It's three <laughs> chips. <laughs> one chips. I, I said, do you know you could have eaten a bar and a goosey yes, good than food. This, this nonsense wow. you ate? You see, this nonsense you ate, you could have eaten a bar and a goosey and you'll yeah. be full for longer. Yes. Oh, yes, wow. Yes. So really, there's no... Like, no food is a villain. It's yeah. really all no about food is, yes, yeah. Because yeah. oh. every food the has time something you take it to give you. It's it the sugar. You yes, need energy. Yeah, Rice has sugar. So when you, you just energy. say they stay, but I don't stay it, out of anything. You, you can actually eat what you want, but just in very controlled portion. Mm. That's yeah. it. So what's your take... We're talking about food. What's your take on the vegan lifestyle? Yeah. Like, is it the way to go? Or mm-hmm. would you still encourage more of like a... um animal-based diet as well. Like, what is your take? Because a lot of women are like, to going, lose weight, yes, I'm going on this vegan vegans, diet yes. and it's healthier for me. Is, is Do we need to all be vegan or can we... No, I this? guess it's your preference. It's what works for you okay. because I'm not going to do it. Because me, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> yeah, some honesty. nutrients I, I need that from me. I'm not going to go without that because I'm not... I'm not about that life. Mm-hmm. I, I, my, my, my take is you cannot be a prisoner because you're on you a fitness to. lifestyle. Mm. I like the sound of that. I like the freedom <laughs> of being able to do it. So you pizza, of course yourself. I will take pizza. I could take a slice and yeah, I move on. move on. I don't have to have four slices. Yes, mm. yes. Yeah. That is nothing. I don't want that restriction, that holding mm. me. I don't mm-hmm. want not to be able not to take anything. Mm-hmm. I can take anything. Mm-hmm. I just want to take it in. You know, like I give myself just ice cream. I said I will. And just not uh, like it's something I love. I could take ice cream almost every other day before, but mm. with fitness journey, I'm kind to. of disciplined. Yeah. I want it, but I want to really take it when I'm craving for it. Yes, mm. do you understand? Yes. Yeah. When you crave for it, you take it. It and kills the it craving, kills the and craving. then you move on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Thinking about craving, I know a lot of women struggle with emotional eating. Like we eat when we're upset, we can eat when we are. Like, how do we manage that? <laughs> no, yes. we don't have a lot it's of It's called comfort food, comfort actually. Food. Yes, yes I was, as a trainer, what would you advise? You like women? in my in my in my in the peak of when I was losing weight, because mm-hmm. I have been there, so they should not look at me like she's a oh, trainer. She's That's a, why she thought, yes. No, I have been there. Do you know like I literally would 
diced carrot, very sweet carrot, dice it into like really tiny bits. And I'm at the cinema. That's what I was, that's what ah, I'm chewing wow. on. As against taking the popcorn because wow. I'm trying. Wow. There's so many things I have to do. And that's then at dis- night, I'm dis- feeling peckish. I'll co- take my carrots in. Yeah, in like cinema. it's very sweet. Even <laughs> yeah. at home, when people come, like, Wow. I, I have been there. It was just, I had to do that Discipline. sacrifice because of what I am looking for. for. Because in the long run, it's going to help me make better choices, choices. In, in the future. future. Yeah. Fast forward. Mm-hmm. So, so you true. will not know it when you are doing all that. After a while, you, are ju- you just lean to. It's not like you're not going to eat. I naturally do not like fried food. Never. You mm-hmm. can't catch me eating anything fried. Oh, it's going to be grilled. Everything. Boiled or grilled. I don't puff, like fried yeah, food. Uh, do you know? Of course, uh, uh, yeah, I eat, yeah, but yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's right. right. Oh, I'm just <laughs> saying that's a truth. You know, like chops. of course, small chops. That's, that's nice. Of course, yeah. I, I, I will eat it. But yeah, I just but know I get that what you mean. your everyday is, foods. You wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Be yes, no, I wouldn't. I just would either boil or grill. Yeah, that is literally. And then it's like when people say I don't use oil at all. Sweet heart, I use oil. I just use small oil. More oil. I will not. I cannot be a prisoner. That's my point. Yes, That's why most people, freedom. they just give up. Yes. I don't want you to give up. I want you to say, and then we all do not have to be figure it's eight. Yes. We don't have you to be. You, you, know, just be. you get to a size where you like. Confident and then sometimes, and even when you size. lose too much weight, mm-hmm. you look haggard. Yes. You look gaunt. You look <laughs> all sorts. Yeah. So you have to create a balance. You have to find out, oh, when I'm 70 kg, I look right. So mm-hmm. stick to that your 70 kg. Okay, yeah. As against wanting to weigh 65 kg yeah. that makes you look 10 yeah. years older than you look. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I've actually seen like people that are really chubby yeah. dance at me. Do move exercises or even move their bodies better than people that yes, are yes, um, yes, that are not yes, as strong. I think confidence yes. is not a skill thing. No, no, no. It's, it's either you have it or you, or don't, you don't have, have it. it. And you should I'm sorry. have it. But and I, then some and then yeah. sometimes. Fitness lifestyle build your confidence. I was going to say yes. that fitness lifestyle yeah. builds that confidence. Yeah. And that's confidence. what we're talking about today in yeah. terms of being confident at any size. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Work out, eat healthy. Eat healthy. That would help you and build you that confidence. And give a treat sometimes. Yes, yes. you have to. You have to. You like that bit of No, you must. Treat you're treating yourself. Oh, you're so, so deserving. deserving. I'm not, I've not had a pizza in a while. I yeah. feel like, go Don't for it. it. Yeah. That is that particular one is not going to kill yes. you. Go for it. It's not something you do every day. Go mm-hmm. for it. So like, when I'm, some of the ladies I listen, but I can't tell I say, babe, mm. have you seen your body of late? Mm. Go for the chocolate. You have ended it, mm. yeah. okay, you've, okay. you've done well. Do you understand? But you see how yeah. she's restricting herself. Yes. Yeah. yes. So I have to like, you are not a prisoner. Mm. Go for it. It's just today. So, mm. and that brings me to like, I think our final question, which is, um, can you be body confident and still have body insecurities? Mm. Can you, Yeah. Can you still hmm. say you're body confident even though you still have things that you're not sure about? Yeah, let me tell you. You see that um, body confidence and then body insecurity. Insecurity is from inside. Mm. It's just like me. I start myself like, I'm always like, oh, I wanted to have big busts. <laughs> I wanted, I, I was always crazy because I already had the, the busts. I already yeah, had so the busts. So I want the, I want the bigger busts. <laughs> but you know, with kids and all that, I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't really need it now. You know, like mm-hmm. I got over it, but for the longest time, that was... My insecurity, mm-hmm. even though I was body confident. And, okay. Do you so understand? Possible. So it, uh, is, it possible. is possible. Do you understand? Yeah. Some people can be like, is this my pouch here? Yeah. This is like, that's their insecurity. Yeah. Is that but, flat you, but you see that, <laughs> you, see them, do you yeah. see them drowning, but they just, they, you see that, that they, it's just, it's, it's from the inside. The insecurity mm-hmm. is from the inside. It has nothing to do with how you yeah, look, your yeah. body, com- your body mm-hmm. confidence is great. But that, there's one thing, there must be one thing you want to tweak in your yeah. body. Yeah. It's oh. my legs, they look too big. I wish mm. they were smaller, you know, but anyhow, Sha. You understand? Yeah, yeah, I see yeah you body mean. confident, but mm. there are just some some small, small insecurities. And I think we shouldn't allow ourselves to be defined by those insecurities. Yeah, so no, just no, no, no. You, you have to accept it. Because I come to the get like yeah. my friends, like, I said, see, I've accepted myself. I'm not even good for mm-hmm. surgery. Yeah. I've accepted myself the way I am and I, and I love we it. We are actually beautiful the way we are. Do you yeah. understand? When I was much younger, I used to want. I funny enough, and now I'm now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually laughing at myself. When I was much younger, I used to be really slim. My hands used to be dangly. And then my head, I had a but big head. Have you noticed when mm-hmm. everybody was much younger? They were, yeah. We yeah. were all slim. Yeah, yeah. And then we were I've ways. never it's only very few people that were chubby when they were younger. Everybody. <laughs> just go and bring picture of 15 years ago now. You <laughs> see all of us looking like I don't oh, even know. Oh my goodness. But now I'm older, and yeah. then I feel like 
even though I, I want to be a certain size, yeah. I'm still, I'm now confident in this size that I am. Yes. I have actually dropped some weight. So yeah. I'm like, I'm learning to now be, not learning, I'm now confident in this size. And I'm like, well, if I drop a few more pounds, yes. that would be bad. Yes. Yes. But yes. I'm, like, I'm happy. I'm happy. Like, I'm yeah. exactly. You know, I'm, I'm happy. Now exactly. Now I feel exactly. now. So I think that we can't So I like that we've, yeah. we've, we've we evolved be from being skinny. Yes. It's not about skinny. So it's about being healthy. It's about being fit. It's about being strong. And it's also about finding an activity that you love, that you can do. It's about moving. Get, yeah. Keep get moving. You Activities, know. whatever works for you. If you're afraid you. of the gym, if you're a hiker, if you're yeah. a cyclist, Anything. whatever works you don't for swim. you. Just, yeah, yeah uh, swimming is very yeah, good yeah, for women. Extremely, that's so, total body workout right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So any yeah. activity that you enjoy, you yeah. know, just mm-hmm. take it on board. Body mm-hmm. confidence is really about being confident at any yes, size. Yeah. Yeah. I love any that size. you said you don't have to. You might still have insecurities. You might still have things you want to change, but mm-hmm. it doesn't mean you should dwell on those insecurities. Your fitness journey encourages you. You use that as a sort of encouragement to accept your insecurities. Yes. yes, that's it, and then True. you can be confident at any mm-hmm. size. Yes. So, yes, yes, at any size, any at size. any size. Right. When I see some thick women and ah, how they, they carry working. their body, no, I'm actually looking nice. at even I'm you. Yeah. I am actually looking at I'm you. Yeah, it's you. the way you carry yourself. So it's even me. more than just I like think that's the what way you carry does. yourself. And exercise actually has yes, contributed yes, to that. Yes. But I've also seen now that just speaking with you, I've seen now that you love your body. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you seeing a woman in love yeah. with her body? Yeah. 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 You have to love my body. Okay. Just there's one here right now. I'm <laughs> loving it now. Yes. yes. Like, 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 no, that's no, that's... Uh, see, because they... Before now, maybe they would get to me like, oh, you look muscular, you look... Like, nah. now, like, when I step up, sometimes I intentionally, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I feel like having some new clients. <laughs> and I literally dress for that purpose. So when oh. I step up, my God, come on, give me your hands. <laughs> just your arms. I just want it. It's on purpose. I wore it that day because I needed to <laughs> give some client. women... Yeah, so, so, you know, so I have some yeah. clients are like, if I don't ha- have your hand, I'm not leaving you. Just so you know, I would just be laughing. I'm yeah. like, no, we don't worry, we'll tone your hand. we we'll tone your hand the way it is, not yeah. like but mine. But that, that confidence didn't come overnight. It, no, came, no, no. it came because you started feeling strong. You oh started seeing what your God. body could do. Yes. You, you started appreciating what your body The first can confidence do. that hits you is your first set of weight. Like the yeah. first, like yeah, maybe you lose the drop. first <laughs> seven, eight kg. Yeah. You see that confidence? Huge oh my God, joy. you have no idea. You will annoy people. I annoy <laughs> everybody <laughs> around. How do you know? Said, oh up. my I'm God. Those know you have no I idea. Those skinny jeans. I, oh my God. I literally, I wear one yard. One yard. Just, you know when you cover your, <laughs> the, the main thing and then you flaunt <laughs> every other thing. Yard, That's one yard of material. <laughs> up and down. Yeah, you know, it's a good feeling. No, it's a good fitness feeling. Fitness is fun. Feel good, fitness is fun. Fitness and when is fun. I always tell people, because you just see some people, they come solo. They're always by themselves. Mm-hmm. They just come solo. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know what? They have found mm-hmm. what works for, for them. them. Yeah. They are in love with themselves. Mm-hmm. And the only way to keep being in love with themselves is to keep this routine. Yes. Yes. They just Alone. come solo. To keep, that's Alone. why I said in self-care. Yeah. To keep being in love with yourself, that routine actually helps it, it, you it to must, build that must, confidence. Yeah, you need that routine. So definitely. Because you just be like, ah, ah. This place has gone a bit. I, I think that sometimes even when you don't notice it, you might actually be losing weight when you are not even so conscious obsessed of it. Yes, with, yes, yes. I want to lose weight. No, no, no. Oh, sometimes. Yes, yes. So when people come say, I want to lose weight, I say, ah, out of the door. Say, ah. I said, uh, I don't do lose weight here. Mm. My own is about being healthy, mm. being strong and being fit. Very so if you want good. that three, like the most step forward. Step if you don't want that, out. Oh, say yeah. about the weight oh. loss. I say weight loss comes with this with three. It comes. So why so do you want to do all these three? You already, you already lose weight. Lovely. So Lovely. thank you yeah. so, so thank much. Thank you so much. This is an amazing conversation. I'm so I'm so passionate about this conversation because I think I've had this conversation with Lilian a lot. I'm going to drop some weight. I want to lose some weight. I've always wanted to lose weight. No, but now it's... Listening to what you have said today, it's possible, it's, it's possible. doable. Yes, yes it is. I just it need is. to be intentional. At any age. age. Don't Consistent. forget that. Don't say, oh, I'm already 40. And mm. No, at any Achieve. age. Yes. At mm. any age, it's mm. achievable. Yeah. Thank you thank so you much. So I'm sure you guys have learned me. so yes, much today. Let us know what fitness tips are you working yes. with? What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Um, let us know, you know, what what, are you, what is your routine? Do you go to the gym? Are you Do you working out? Yeah. Are you planning to work out? Yeah. And are you on a diet? Are you on a diet? Are you constantly on different diets? Yeah, I'm not going for you. Let us Are know. Are you eating about 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. at night? Let yeah. us know. Let We'd us like know. to know. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe, yes, to like, like, like this video, if um, you share it. with your friends, yes. share with other women as well. You yes. know, we're all in this together. We are so in let, this let, together. Let, sure, yes, share we this. are in this, we are this together. All in this yeah. together. Please share with every member of your family. I think yeah. that's not just even for women. Yeah. It's for every member of the family. Yeah. A fit family is a happier family. Oh, yeah. So please share with every member of your family so that they can benefit from what we have just There I just add a quick one. Like, what role do you think men can play to encourage 
encourage not just their wives, but like just women in general? Do you think mm-hmm. men have a positive role to play? As yeah, well it'd be nice fitness? that if your spouse, your mm-hmm. wife, mm-hmm. husband decide to go on a fitness journey, yeah. Yeah. and you just be um, if you cannot join them. Just be there. Encourage be them. Yeah, be supportive. Don't say some why people you are not, <laughs> yeah. Some people are not um, very encouraging. Yeah. And some people are overly encouraging Logic. because you are going to the gym, gym. now. You cannot take it. Hey! Mm-hmm. You are eating. You are eating. Are, yeah, are you don't do prisoner that. now? <laughs> don't do that. Don't overly encourage or not encourage. So encourage. just, and could you see any change? Babe, Mm, uh, you look really good. Yeah, yeah. 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 my husband always like, ah, babe, he's a, yeah. he doesn't even, he's not into exercising. Yeah. Like, mm. I would tell people, I say, I'm the one that exercises for my family. <laughs> he's this skinny, he's not exercise into exercising. I exercise for my family. I, that's, what, that's always my phrase. Say, well, I your husband must be fit. I say, <laughs> no, I exercise I for all of our family. family members. <laughs> exactly, don't worry. Yeah. I have carried, but everybody will have to carry something for the family. So for fitness, I'm the one that I've carried it. He's carrying something else for the family. Yeah. So as long as you're, yeah, men, be encouraging. Support your moms, your sisters, your wives. Yeah, a little, just, you look yeah. nice, mm-hmm. just to put a smile on their face. Like, ah, this thing is working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No matter how tiny you will see it, mm-hmm. don't, don't, um, don't talk it down. Don't tone yeah. it down. Mm-hmm. I don't say you have been working in six months. Yeah, you see, yeah, yeah, you have not. It's only small. No, results, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we are bringing that that person's morale. So men, men, you do so have key. a role to play yes, in encouraging yes. us yes. And, and be kind with your words yes. and, and follow us on that journey if you can. I love mm, what you said yes. about if you can go on a diet and you can even yeah. start a healthy lifestyle for yourself yeah. because it's also very and important And then let me say something. You. you know, sometimes when the woman of the house start that mm-hmm. and then automatically some of those say, oh, so you want to live long. Yeah. Yeah. So I you're giving me all this. Me. I see yeah. what you're eating, healthy yeah. stuff. So for some reason, they just gravitate towards you yes. once yes. you've done it. Because yes. I met a couple of ladies yeah. that their husbands just joined them on, on their the journey. Eating, eating right. right. Yeah. Yes. Wow. yeah, be a positive yeah. influence. Yeah. Yeah. The power yeah. of influence. And now we have our affirmation of the week. Yes. Um, we're going to give you a card mm-hmm. and you'll let us know what our affirmation of the week is. Yes, and you also tell us what, what that means, that means to you. To you. Mm. So what is our affirmation of this week? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Love it. <laughs> awesome. That middle leg like, seems everyone's always touching, picking yeah. from the middle, right? Want to stand on middle ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There is no e- there is no force equal to a woman determined to rise. Mm. This is very big. Mm. Like it just I can relate to it personally. Yeah. Oh mm. wow. Yes, because every time I. I want to do something. Mm. Mine is always preparation means determination. Mm. I want that thing. So I prep for it. Mm. I can prep for something that is going to take place in a year. Oh. Mm. So I would prep for it and I will get it. Mm. So Amazing. for this, there is no force equal to a woman's determined to rise. It's just like you cannot stop someone That's who is, cannot even see the stop sign. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, child. Fingers, okay. fingers, fingers, fingers. <laughs> she can't even see. There's Love no stop sign. There's no stop sign. So there's like, no keep stopping moving. a determined woman. Keep moving. Yeah, that's it. That's no, it. she's up there. It's amazing. Mm. She's not amazing. even looking for handout, looking for anybody. Or validation. She's, just, she's, she's just, her just own. Jonas, and this is what I want and I will get it. Mm. Yeah. And women, we have amazing. that in us. No, we, we have. Do we, do, we, do, yeah. we do. Because have you noticed is when we expect someone to do something for us, the things uh, are always slow and all that. Mm, but when you do it yourself, so, you get the fact, results. Think, you know, like, I've done, I've been to four places. Yes. And meanwhile, someone is going to do it. We're going to go here on yeah, Monday. We'll yeah. go here next week. Yeah. If they're dragging and taking, but mm. you, you literally use two days for what they use a month for. <laughs> you know what That's it is? No, it's true. I feel like when it comes to other people, we use our energy. Yeah. Yeah. But now, let's try and use that energy yeah. for yeah. ourselves. Yeah, because when we use it when we desperately need it. But we use it for others. Greatly needed yes. emergency. That's when we now, but yeah. mm-hmm. do you understand? Mm-hmm. So for some for some reason, if we haven't, like if we haven't, if something have not happened to us, yeah. we don't rise to this. So yeah. if so, we have, we rise to it when something is happening. You know yeah. what? I can do this myself mm-hmm. now. Yes. Let mm-hmm. me do this, yeah. and then you just see that unstoppable yeah. force, mm-hmm. determination, mm-hmm. and that's it. Yeah, Let, let's learn to use that energy for yeah, ourselves. For ourselves. Yeah. Like our because we go above yeah. and beyond. You know, like some women are like, oh, seven o'clock class is too early. <laughs> but they'll say six o'clock, too. six o'clock, take your son to Your, the soccer. Yeah, I went by five. Yes, yes. yes. So when Can it comes you see to that? us, yeah. we have excuses. We, we, exactly. When it comes to other people, people yeah. there are no excuses. So let's use the same energy we use mm. for other people, people for ourselves. ourselves. Yeah. That's because it. we are unstoppable yes, when we actually we are. put in yeah. the yeah. effort. That's, so. really, that's, that's really good. Thank you. And now we're going to move on to our girl chat segment where you lovely viewers send us your questions and then we give you 
feedback. Don't forget to send us your questions. The link is now Instagram bio. So, Benita, what is our question? Today? Okay, this one says, I recently had my first child, and although during the pregnancy period, I noticed myself gaining weight. I was, extre- I was extremely shocked to see my new weight on the scale. Realizing what I weigh made me become super self-conscious. I started avoiding public outings and switched to wearing clothes to cover my rolls and big tummy. <laughs> After some encouragement from my husband, I started trying to exercise at home. But it's extremely difficult because I had never seen a fitness person. I was a lekwa before my pregnancy, mm-hmm. so I had no need for working out. No. Please, do you have any ad- advice to help me return back to my figure and gain back my confidence? Oh, congratulations mm-hmm. on the birth of your, your baby. 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 All right. I like the fact that she said she was a lekba before. Yes. Never walked out. Mm-hmm. That's what most lekba face because they don't know what it's like because they don't feel they need to mm, work out yes. so they never work out. So, darling, what you must do is just baby step. What do you like? Mm-hmm. I need to know what you like. If you like dancing okay. or if you like swimming, like let's start with what you like mm-hmm. first and take it up as and a date with yourself. That's what you do three times. Yourself. You yeah. can't go with the baby. Someone will hold the baby for you. You do what you have to do. I, I, some deter- Have you met some determined women? Mm. <laughs> they come with their baby. To the gym. Mm. To yeah, the gym, gym, I promise you. Mm-hmm. I've seen They them. will do it one hour and then they're out because they know what they want, what they're looking for. Mm. So just take it one day at a time. But you must do what you like mm. because you are like, a blank slate. Hmm. You've never worked out before. Yes. A hand, so you don't even know mm. what it she is. Hasn't up so any let's bad start habits. with what mm-hmm. you like. Mm. If it's dancing you like, let's start with dancing. Mm-hmm. If it's um you like to walk, mm-hmm. you're the type that walking is your hobby. Yeah. Then walk for two hours. Mm. Do you understand? Start with that. Make it two to three times, probably three times, because you're just starting this journey. Mm-hmm. Three times is fair enough. Because some people like, oh, can I do every day? I say, it's up to you. But for a new mom, three times is fine. Mm-hmm. So have one day for rest. The other day, you have another day. Just yeah. have a day in between for rest. For rest. Mm-hmm. So but just start small. And I don't want you to expect much because it's a gradual process. You will yeah. get, mm-hmm. you might not get to that, you might not get your exact body, yeah. but you will get close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That I promise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. That's true. I think it's it's the same. I'm just thinking about, you know, after having a baby, mm-hmm. the, the first thing on your mind, obviously, is would I ever get my body back? Mm-hmm. But I think we can try and change that mindset to be like, would I ever get my energy back? Would I ever yes. get my yeah. fitness back? Oh, yes. That, that, That's you very see that important. Energy. You see how, that energy. how great I am when yeah. I, I'm working out. Trust <laughs> me, I'm an energy boy. <laughs> That's yes. I know myself. We can tell. Yeah. So, <laughs> guess what? When I return back after mm-hmm. having my yeah. kids and I return back mm-hmm. you have no idea okay. it's such a struggle, struggle. The first one month this yes. is a fitness instructor yes, mm-hmm. yes. it's such a struggle you see me pounding any small like, thing is I like what happened mm-hmm. yeah. I cannot believe it I'm like at some point I will even be crying like mm-hmm. where, where did my energy go but yeah. I keep pushing because I want my energy back yeah. so I push it until I get my it's energy back I have to get it by force it's yeah. mine so I have to do, all I have to do is walk to yeah. it and collect it, it. and that's, it even makes you like a better mom or a better person yes, you're able, you have more energy, energy for your child yes, yes, you're able yes, you're more active yes, yes. so instead of us always thinking about snap back let's think about getting our energies mm-hmm. back feeling good again feeling mm-hmm. great good, again good good feeling energy great again. energy back energy back. the important thing because yeah. so when say, I, I said it on one of my stories you do not owe anybody a snap back mm. Mm. My darling, enjoy your you moment owe anybody with your baby. You do not owe anybody a snapback. You do not owe anybody a Yes. Yeah. You yeah. owe yourself to feel good. good. You That's owe it. yourself to feel confident. Peace yes. of mind. Confidence. You know, yeah. healthy, healthy yeah. baby, yeah. healthy, healthy mom. <laughs> Yeah, mm. that's really it. Healthy so whatever you. works for you, like you mentioned, yeah. Sandra, anything you can do. do just walking, start small. Don't start overwhelm with yourself with anything. Mm-hmm. If it's the normal walking, you say, okay, I can do walking. Take, take a walk. Take, take a walk two hours. With that, that's your exercise. Mm. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, you're, you, you, you literally, you know when people say, oh, you know, I think exercise is a thing of the mind. You need to dress up for the occasion. You're yeah. going out to mm. dress up. You so dress if you want to walk out, you dress, dress up, up complete. Mm. Yeah. So that you are in the zone. Yeah, so you, you can't wear skinny out. jeans. Yeah. You don't know even when they say, Sarah, walk. I'm at home. You know, I said, no, <laughs> go and put on your shoes. Yeah, <laughs> I actually go out, I know for, yeah. go out for, for a walk. walk. Not I'm wearing skinny jeans no, and heels. No, I'm trying no. to walk. It's not going to You work. have to be in that zone. zone. So that way your mind, yeah, your, your mind follows exactly. the body. Because mm-hmm. again, you. it's self-care. It's mental yes. health and physical health. Yeah, it's self-care Exercise is so good for your mental health. Yeah, she's a self-care queen. I love self-care, but I think exercise is one of the ultimate forms of self-care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm always 
always talking about because women don't tend to see it as self care. They see mm. it as punishment. No, self care. They want to. They want to. Self care is not like <laughs> your nails alone. You know, self care is not just oh going to self care. Self care you know? is fitness. It's yeah. being yes. strong True. and yeah. being fit. So that's True. why I keep saying self care. Let's have this mentality that fitness is a it's form self-care. of self care. Yes, exactly. The highest form. The highest form of it's beautiful because you feel good and you feel confident. That we all deserve to feel good. We all deserve to. And she's a new mom. I think she should just take it easy on herself. Yeah. She give herself grace. Um, you just had a baby, and then you were lekpa before. I know mm-hmm. that it can be, it can put a, a lot of pressure on her. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. From lekpa, you are now like, uh, I don't even know these figures call myself again. <laughs> but I think she should just take it easy. Mm-hmm. Like she has also advised you take it one step at a time. Enjoy the stage. It's a very enjoy the process. It's a enjoy very interesting stage actually Being with a the new baby. Mom. Yeah. But like just take it easy on yourself. Yeah. And I'm sure that if you can take walks and dance yeah. and find what you really love to do, yes. you will bounce yeah. back and you'll get yourself back. So yeah. Yeah, and then you can walk with your baby. So if you're thinking there's some people that do some couple of workout with their babies, because yeah. right now your baby is weighing nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's very light. You can, exactly. Mm-hmm. So you can just strap your baby on, on and, and you guys will go for, for just make sure. Because that's a bit more resistance as yeah, well. Exactly. So if you strap your baby, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, so, so you yeah, can is, bond yeah. and be fit at exactly. the same time. So yeah. yes, Thank we will you see you on the next episode of the Girl to Woman podcast. Bye. Bye, everybody. At GTW, we are passionate to provide about providing you with the knowledge and resources that you need to improve your current realities and your life outcomes. Hence, we'll be giving out financial aid in areas of education, business, and any other forms of financial aid that you might need. To apply, please click the link on our description box below, or you can also check out our Instagram bio. Yes, and you must also be subscribed to our YouTube channel Mm -hmm. of following us on Instagram. Yeah. The winners will be announced in our final episode of the season. So stay tuned Mm -hmm. to the Girl to Women podcast. Yes.